This week on Inside Boulder News, the City Council sets high priority goals for 2014 and beyond. Downtown Boulder gets a splash of color thanks to student artists, and local retailers stay in step with local and state processes before selling recreational marijuana. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, I'm Ashley Prill. The Boulder City Council kicked off this week by identifying top goals and agreeing on specific priorities for the next two years. The annual council retreat focused on creating a strategic plan designed to lay the groundwork for a better Boulder. There's a lot of work ahead. These are not projects that are going to get accomplished in a couple of weeks. There were some very discreet ones and there are some that I think we can pull off relatively quickly, of course, with community input. There has to be a public process. The, the, the results of the retreat will come back to Council sometime in February. The staff needs to take a look at what we have requested, try to come up with a, a playbook, um, what really might be possible in the two-year time frame that this Council um, is in session, what type of schedule might there be, what type of trade-offs might there be, uh, once we have kind of a plan for moving forward, that of course will be made public. But then all of these, every single thing I mentioned, and more of course, including all the everyday work we do, you know, all happens at p very public meetings um, to which everybody is invited and at our business meetings to, to speak to us, contact us via email. Much of this, the vast majority of this, will go also through various boards and commissions. Volunteer for our board or commission and be part of the conversation to shape Boulder's future. The application deadline is February 13th. To review vacant positions and submit your application, log on to bouldercolorado.gov slash boards dash commissions. The next City Council meeting takes place on Tuesday, January 21st at 6 p.m. in the Canyon Theater Auditorium in the Main Library. Meetings are open to the public, televised on Channel 8, and available online at boulderchannel8.com. Pearl Street Mall has new lamp pole banners thanks to the talent of local students. For the second year in a row, the Downtown Boulder Business Improvement District sponsored a project designed to beautify this popular part of town and showcase young talent. This year's theme was What I Love About Boulder. It's like mountains and a park and a river and a little cottage and like mountains is hiking up the mountains. Like I wrote mountains like up going up and I have the sunset and it's all the things I love about Boulder in one drawing. I made mine with oil pastels and um, chalk. It's of this one horse and it has a green fence underneath it. We love Boulder! 66 students from Boulder Valley School District were involved in creating 51 banners. You can vote for your favorite banner during Boulder Arts Week, March 28th through April 6th. The winner will receive a $100 gift certificate from Downtown Boulder, Inc. Find all the details at boulderdowntown.com. While local retailers are eager to start selling recreational marijuana, those in Boulder are making sure they're dotting their I's and crossing their T's first. Existing medical marijuana businesses interested in converting only to selling recreational marijuana were able to apply for a City of Boulder license as of January 2nd. There is no application deadline. I think that businesses are being um, pretty deliberate. They're doing some surveying of their customer base and really trying to do their due diligence to make an appropriate business decision for them. Our current businesses that are operating here are very good and very compliant and so um, we really think that they're going to do a good job with this program. The City of Boulder will continue to implement recreational marijuana licenses in stages. On January 21st, existing medical marijuana businesses who would also like to sell recreational marijuana without expanding their business may apply for a license. On February 3rd, existing medical marijuana businesses who would also like to sell recreational marijuana and expand their business may apply for a license. You can access documents and find more information about the recreational marijuana licensing process at bouldercolorado.gov slash tax dash license by clicking on the medical marijuana businesses tab. Hundreds of cyclocross racers came from across the United States for their chance to win one of 36 national titles at Valmont Bike Park last weekend. They were greeted with a challenging technical course and wintry conditions. Every day because of how many people were on it, 
and the weather and the, um, how it heated up in the day and then got cold at night made the course unique every day. It changed constantly. We had 1,553 racers who pinned on numbers and raced each and every one of the events. 2,069 race starts. That's over 500 more, actually 600 more, than the 2013 Nationals in Madison, Wisconsin, which is big when you think of the logistics of it all. We had the largest junior participation in U.S. cyclocross history, and those numbers were 264 racers from over 20 states. And even more impactful was the largest women's uh, registration in U.S. cyclocross history. The event allowed the city to showcase its premier cycling attraction, plus all the other great things Boulder has to offer. And at least some local businesses saw a definite boost in activity. For the Mosaic Cycles business, I think it was really positive just in making connections with people that we maybe talk to from all around the country but never really get to see. People came into town uh, this last weekend to be a part of the festivities and we were able to shake some real hands and make some real connections. Um, and it really helps Mosaic Cycles exposure. I mean, we had our bikes set up at the race all weekend long and whoever was walking by could check us out and ask us questions and we could just help promote what, what we do at Mosaic and, and our product through that. So I think it was a really positive, positive event. You can try the cyclocross trails for yourself at Valmont Bike Park. It's open daily from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. as weather and trail conditions allow. Find the latest information at facebook.com slash Valmont Bike Park. Local leaders teamed up this week to discuss important issues in the Boulder community. The Boulder Town Gown Forum was an effort to encourage collaboration between the City of Boulder, the Boulder Chamber, Boulder Valley School District, and CU. Participants say it's opportunities like these that lead to a better understanding of challenges and stronger partnerships. It was important because it allows me to express how valuable it is to collaborate with all these other entities to advance the interests of the business community um, and vice versa we know that the business community can help all these other organizations be successful by bringing our resources to the table so um, it was both a, an opportunity for me to demonstrate what we need from the community to be successful but also how we can support others. To find out about events happening in the Boulder business community, log on to boulderchamber.com. Thank you for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe. I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't have done it this way. No beer after 11 at night? Man, who comes up with these plans? Why would they build that in North Boulder? Come on. Excuse me, why don't you do something productive with your voice? Huh. Before a community can grow, the conversation must shape the vision. Help us shape the vision. Apply to serve on a city board or commission.